Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a very special Future Heels podcast. My name is Jacob Best the Realm Hotter. As always, I'm joined by... Brian Brian. You, why are you far away from the microphone? I made a microphone. Hey, is the microphone going to pick up this fart? I bought this motherfucker. <laughs> Damn it, Verano. <laughs> the mic not but but then I it. Move back. Son of a bitch. Love this fucking... Welcome to the new world. Right. 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 We occasionally talk about video also, games. <laughs> did I say heels? Yeah. I don't know what you said. You did. Welcome you to the Future Villains podcast. <laughs> Wow. I blew the lines. We'll get it all out in post. It'll be up. fine. I just wanted to be known that I bought a microphone specifically for Brian, and he's sitting as far away from the motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's okay, he won't talk. Brian, Brian, man, Peacock, joined yep. by me today. Finally, Rhaegar. Say hi. Yep, hey. How was your day, Rhaegar? Shit. <laughs> That's not going to change. The special guest from the Future Heels podcast. I'm smelling shit right now, so I can't <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. I don't mean to soil our first impressions. <laughs> <laughs> so, can we talk about the elephant in the room? These microphones look like fucking GLaDOS. Do they? <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. Just a little so, bit. Man, I'm Korsgar. That's all I got. Okay. Uh, I'm Grimace. I'm Alred of the Blood Pack. You're what? Alred. Alred? Mm-hmm. Okay. I thought you said owner of the blood pack. <laughs> fuck no. <laughs> I'm not that much of a presumptuous <laughs> asshole. I'm not Antonio. What the fuck do you think I am? We got Korsgar, Rhaegar, Babusa, Alred. Alred, and Tim. <laughs> Savage. <laughs> nice. Here, hit him. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, go ahead. You guys are going to have a meeting, and I'm just going to sit here and record it. Oh, alright. Oh, for then. fuck's sake. Yeah. <laughs> we all got to right? <laughs> You guys are... Just pretend like the microphones aren't on. Running this meeting straight to the ground. Now a word from our sponsors. <laughs> 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 oh, we don't have sponsors. <laughs> Not they even don't Audible know that. sponsors us. No. <laughs> Jeez. Wow. That is, the most, that is the most annoying conversation with every, like, ambitious-minded person you introduce the sport to, is you have to spend 20 minutes telling them why you can't just go out and get sponsors. Like, they're the first person to have this is idea. Is that really like, you have bro, a conversation with no, Mark? Dude, you should just get sponsors, bro. No, so many people will do. This thing's been going on since the 70s. Don't you think we tried? People really think that? You can just get sponsored? Yeah. Oh, they yeah. don't understand how sponsors work, do they? Everyone's like, oh, you just, oh, you just make your own sword and sell them. You just go, fuck, dude. You don't think, like... No, no, the whole well, you got Budweiser on my sword cover or something like that? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's one guy doing that, right? Pretty it's, much. It's not, yeah, one person that anyone at least successfully ever that we know has of. ever made a living selling yeah. things for this. Wow. You're talking about a sport where people are putting in the amount of money needed to keep it alive so people can do it. No one's going to make their fortune off of this. No, I'm sure they're not. You guys started this, and you are now, you were playing, what was that shitty ass little game we talk about every time? <laughs> Vanguard. Vanguard. Now dagger here slash amp guard. And a little bit though. Not shit on other people's games during these podcasts. We can shut up Vanguard. It's fine. (laughs) Vanguard's the f word, bro. Yeah. The other ones, no. Thalion Door is. We don't say. That's right. Thalion Door is a great little game that's growing. Fuck. Uh, Vanguard. (laughs) No, we can say that one. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, Yeah, we've done. We're on Radio X. We're good. (laughs) Radio X. <laughs> We've even gone up to uh, Thalindor and like interviewed them. Yeah. Not just like at the event. We went. We went up to one of the practices. My uh, willpower's breaking. I'm getting those little toy guns over there. Oh my oh, god. Yeah? <laughs> my willpower's breaking. Oh my god. I'm not going to tell want to you that, that black. Oh, oh you're oh, kicking god. the microphone. Oh, and crotch to the microphone. There we go. If you hear it, radio. If you hear balls in a microphone, <laughs> <laughs> that's Korsgar. Balls what do balls sound like? Uh, I don't, I don't really know. know. Like, How squishy? We're going to find out when I edit this. <laughs> oh, Nerf guns. Okay, just don't yeah. mess up the painted one. He does Damn, that one is that nice. <laughs> no, we're breaking out real guns. It's about yeah. real guns. Who decided that gun needed brass knuckles? Like, why wouldn't it? I don't know, it? but why not? Yeah, right? why not? This is That's Nerf we're talking about. It's Nerf or nothing, baby. <laughs> is that a Nerf gun? It's like a knockoff Nerf gun. Yeah, I was gonna yeah say. it's like an air... Bullshit. Busby. It's a fucking How are you even supposed to hold that? I'm, I'm not sure what they're not going well. for with this design. It's it's just what people what is that supposed to be, like a bad carry handle or something? Yeah, <laughs> the uh, the brass knuckles held the little balls that it shot. Oh, okay. Ah, that makes more sense. sense. 
Either way, really it's a nice paint scheme. I don't know. It's not yeah, a no. I got Damn. some wild fantasy looking shit too. It's even got three materia slots. I'm about it. There you go. It works. <laughs> it went with my steampunk costume. There you go. Which is in here. Floating. Somewhere. I thought about doing a Barrett costume with like the um like the airsoft shotgun taking the screws out of the stock and just like putting the upper receiver portion like upside down under a sleeve or something. <laughs> Speaking of airsoft, I got a message on the Facebook page. Did you see that? Oh you uh, this I guy right here. That. Who was that? I don't know. <laughs> I couldn't answer. Look, I had no idea who the guy I was. I seen it. Oh, okay. It? But this no. guy hit me up about some 10 acres he owns in Okeechobee and wanted yeah. to know if... How did he find you? He found me. <laughs> he went on the few true villains thing okay. and saw I was an admin. I don't know why I am or right. how I made it onto there. <laughs> I don't... Hey, just be gracious. Okay, sure. So, I started talking to him, and he just wants to know if, like, the LARP community would like that. First of all, I didn't even know what it is. So that shit don't we even just, sound right. We played 20 questions, but I answered them all. And he just wanted to know if they'd use it for events or something like that. So, so and if he heard it on one of our videos or our podcasts, he's probably listening now. Yeah, so, guy. Yeah, thank guy. you. Yes, that would be awesome. Let's we will happily out. take your yeah, 10 acres of land. Yeah, he's got like a town or something in Okeechobee that they use for Yeah, he's got like, off. yeah, it was like the 10 acres. There's old structures built that they had for airsoft, but I guess the hurricane messed it up. But he said like uh, LARP people could make structures and hold LARP events people. there. Yeah. We can get, awesome. we can get some pictures they do a lot of things, this. I know. We can get some pictures of this place, see what it is, what we're working with. And he like, sent me a group thing. Sent me to see if there's like a field there to fight on. If they're also be like, we need to acknowledge the fact that like fighters have become super prissy in the last couple of years. So like, heard that. Are yeah, Preach. that's. I brought it up, mm -hmm. probably mistakenly, on one of the realm chats. Mm -hmm. First thing was, is there fields? Is there showers? Is there bathrooms? I'm like, <laughs> right. I don't. It's ten acres. I don't know. Yeah. Probably not. Make one. Make right. one. Yeah, what, happened, own. what happened to shit in a hole? Come on, guys. Yeah. Man up. Bring a shovel. Like, it's bring called a shovel, a, bring a box. It's You're called set. a camp I've out event. I've slept under a blanket propped up by a stick before to we'll go to the battle. This like, guy slept under that? nothing. What are you <laughs> Frostman, <laughs> I just slept on the ground. And it was yeah. cold. It was <laughs> so cold. Me and Dave went to a locked <laughs> event last minute. We just slept in our chair and we just inched closer to the fire and passed out. <laughs> See? <laughs> it's doable. Man up. So that's the the prospect of that is how far is Orky Chobi? Like two hours. How far that's was the bad. last thing you guys went to? That was about two about, hours. Yeah. yeah, I mean, they're all about half two hours away. Spain. Okeechobee. <clears throat> that's south, son. Yeah, I don't know. That ain't no two hours. That's We're, like around three or four hours. The guy said two hours from us. He knew where us was. Huh. Yeah, I've been chameleon hunting in Okeechobee. I mean, granted, it was the far side of it, but it was four hours to get there. It's, yeah, Okeechobee by Lake Okeechobee. Chameleon? Either way, we've driven more oh, yeah, to get dude. to... No, Florida's one of those places where you can just let anything go and it will just live here because it's a <laughs> fucking tropical Dude, act. it's like everything down there... Veiled chameleon. I, uh, Bruce's uh, stepdad put me up with some dude and we went down to the south end of Lake Okeechobee and we just fucking hunted chameleons. I mean, this guy hunted chameleons and we just watched as this... We're talking, we're in a truck, we're doing fucking 60 miles down the road, we're it's night, we're <laughs> whipping by these trees, and this dude's like, slam the brakes, like, ah, it was a chameleon, but where? And it fucking backs up 30 feet, jumps over a fucking river with a net, goes up a tree. Like, I still don't see this fucking chameleon until he literally <laughs> oh, has his hands millions. around it. It's a fucking chameleon. <laughs> yeah. it. But this dude's it. doing 30 down the road, just, there's one, I'm like, what the fuck, I didn't even see the tree. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a normal night for you, Verona. It's <laughs> a normal night for this guy. We must yeah. have got him like 70 chameleons. Yeah, that sounds like fun though, larping in a town. Like, if there's legit buildings and shit. Yeah, like Eastwood yeah. has, like, yeah, structures. Yeah, Eastwood's got a village set up, and it's pretty cool. Village, market, house. fort, longhouse, all that. Yeah, because the guy was asking me, like, is that on public property? And I'm like, yeah, guy, what are you getting at? Like, <laughs> it was the weirdest line of questioning. Yeah, it was 20 questions. Yeah, like, <laughs> I just, and he just was feeling, he was just trying to learn. And then, like, when, afterwards. But I told him most like, of the time, events are at, like, state parks and yeah. stuff. So, like, sometimes it's limiting to, like, what people want to do or what creative minds right. can think for LARP. And afterwards, I was kind of like, shit, he was just promote. You know what? I don't mind that he was just promoting the sound badass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, like, what are we going to do with this? Because, like, 
we're not. It depends. It depends we're if not we get there. Hosting autumn assault, so it's looking like. No, and like Blood Pack as a unit doesn't have the manpower or yeah. volunteer we, power we, to host we an event. We can't take advantage of a site. You're making a lot of noise. <laughs> I was trying to, to, to uh, discreetly tell you. <laughs> oh, no, you can't discreetly tell me shit. You'll be like, hey. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You see the glaze look in his eye? There's a reason. Uh, yeah, I mean, we can. I'm sure we can find something to do with it. Yeah, I mean, if there's a bunch of buildings, that could be campground. I mean, I didn't abandon it. I it. posted him to people, that, or directed him to people who are hosting a lot of events and day battles. Okay. And, Kotos. and pretty much, he already knew Gorg. <clears throat> From airsoft days. Oh wow! Cool. Okay. So I thought po- you got started because uh, there was there was a Fallout LARP that had super mutants with foam East swords. Is that what he said? And yeah. That's yeah. How a, a handful of foam fighters went out to the Fallout LARP and got some uh, blo- uh, airsoft guys into DAG from there. That would be fun. That's where Eastwind's still doing we it, do it too. Again. Yeah, yeah. So I directed him to uh, Gord the Blacksmith. Some guys from down south. Just anybody who's... Optimo, Rothgar. I, yeah, I directed him to Rothgar, PJ, yeah. And then kind of brought it up to the realm, but they won't do anything with it. So who is in charge of these type of things? Of who, events? Just like who makes... Yeah, who decides? Because it's almost like anarchy, right? Like, it's yeah, it's you have yeah. exactly hit it. Part mm-hmm. of the... Uh, Dag's whole thing kind of is that it's the Wild West. Dagger here is literally just one realm that owns it somewhere in Delaware, the rule book, and Ragnarok. Everybody else pretty much just uses Dag's name for the things that they themselves do. In so, Dag- I mean, if you guys decided that you were going to do this event at this place, you could just do it, right? Yeah. 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 But you events are self-funded. So sure, you sure. need... You need the mark. You need the group and the marketing already. That you need to when you start planning an event. You need to have an idea who's gonna go and how many people are gonna go, how much they're gonna want to pay for it. So yeah, anyone can just do it, but you need to have, you need to be able to outreach the community and know and sure. make sure that it's gonna actually happen. If if they don't come, then what do you have but a site and some expenses? Right. You don't, just gotta be able to bring don't do what out. I did and just host one. Right. A free one at that. <laughs> I know plenty of people that have just thrown it, they'll type something up on Facebook and throw it up there and then it takes more than that. Yeah, that sounds familiar. Seems like most events, at least the smaller ones we were going to at first. I was like, oh, yeah. come nobody came. It's because you didn't invite anyone. Right. <laughs> That's how that works. You made it. That's no one. one. <laughs> that happens. So yeah, that would be pretty cool to check that out. Maybe we'll just have to take a ride up to Okeechobee one day and do a, a vlog. We can do it now. <laughs> do it now? We can do it now. That sounds like... Yeah, Jess wouldn't mind. We'd be gone. <laughs> you, you guys yes. tell me how it goes. <laughs> yeah. No, we're kidnapping you. All right, let's go. I thought I was such a fight. Yeah, I don't want to just twist your arm. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I got plenty of twine here I can tie you up with. There's jute everywhere. Sweet, 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 sweet jute. What the hell is jute? Jute cord. Oh, paracord? No. No? no? Jute cord. This shit, Levy. Oh. You know, we just said like three sentences at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a cult. Mainly YouTube. It's a cult. It's a cult. It's a cult, it's a cult that only YouTube belong to? <laughs> yeah. No. It's Wait, what? <laughs> so, I do too well. I'm in too many cults. Is that a thing? Is that, yeah. Being in <laughs> yeah. I don't think we're supposed to be in multiples. <laughs> I don't want to say that out loud on, on the microphone, though. The blood pack sounds like a cult. Well. Well. Uh, well uh, no comment. We're aiming for gang, but Let's like. See. We set, works too. We set the gang bar pretty high in the last unit. That was a gang. We literally beat in our recruits. Jesus. The, 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 the rank up system in that unit was beat up for one minute, beat up for two minutes, beat up for three minutes. Why? Seems gang like gang. the thing to do. Seems like the thing to do. <laughs> no! Seems like a good idea at the time. Oh after my, after my three minute, I couldn't lift my arm higher than here for a day. <laughs> like, time literally just loses all meaning and you're just in this abyss where pain is just... <laughs> 
I feel like I go through that daily at work with my ears, just people berating me for minutes at a time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, ears. Eden, same thing. <laughs> 30 people with swords. Just <laughs> same thing. Two people with swear words in both ears. <laughs> so you guys were meeting today to talk about lore? Yeah, how... You want to talk about that at all? Did that get finished up? Because I sent it over to you in case we need to edit it. Did, did you? <clears throat> I did. <laughs> did you? Let check. me look at this. Wait, what am I doing with it? And I don't know if uh, it's finalized or not. I was dealing with some household issues. We got pretty... We made some good progress. Yeah, we covered okay. a good amount of it. I feel it's adequately updated. <laughs> Bro, where'd you get this little statue of Bruce? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's it's fucking awesome. Wait, put that in group chat. <laughs> Dude, hold it up, hold it up. Someone take a picture, put it in a group yes. chat. Oh, We're on okay. it. That all has to go here. on the website in the description. <laughs> that's so amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's too perfect. Oh, brilliant. Also, the fucking audio flatline top. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because there's seven of us as compared to, you know, two. Jess is awake now. <laughs> <laughs> but there's toys. Of course, go, you're doing there's it wrong. Toys. Yeah, of course, Cars' willpower is just gone at this point. X Wing? Yeah, this is your first time listening. We are recording in a amazing nerd cave. <laughs> amazing. Easily amazing. the best I've seen in a while. Amazing says the guy that all of his stuff's in here. Yeah, it's my stuff. So it's Amazingly oh, cut organized. <laughs> He's earned that. I want to spend a day in here just organize all your shit. <laughs> yeah, we tried that. We got about this far. Yeah. <laughs> what far? <laughs> Nothing exactly. exactly. <laughs> it did when we started. He's and just he, gonna take all your stuff out. He's just going through. I'm not helping. <laughs> got the white supremacy. <laughs> wow, <laughs> savage. Damn. Oh my god. So is this how meetings usually go? It's like, yeah, Lord. It's not to just a degree. As they are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why we're very big on writing things down because we'll say a handful of things that are great and then just sidebar into bullshit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> Oh, what? that's great for a podcast. <laughs> but yeah, tonight's meeting was to finalize some lore, getting it updated, and then kind of just talk yeah. about... I think what really necessitated this meeting is that we had all gotten on different pages about what this unit was about. Yes. And I feel like now we're on the same page. Yeah. Maybe for the benefit of the podcast, we could find that thing we wrote and read it out loud. We could. Did you post that? That yeah. would be good. The thing Find I said that for thing. you. Oh. Okay, read it. <laughs> Since you have it, read it. You, you you can be honored with reading Blood Pack's lore. I don't know that I necessarily deserve that. I've barely done anything. Well. And by barely done you anything. You set all this nothing. shit up. Why not? I made videos. You're there you go. me with <laughs> shit to do. You know what? I'm just not worried. I'm just, you know, it's a lot of responsibility. Well, now I'm not prepared for this. <laughs> pull up all the things. Yeah, it was thrust upon you. It was. That's thrust. how it works. <laughs> yeah, it is. Talk him while I find it. You oh, get, <laughs> talk while he finds it. Um, you just get interested in something and then you're doing it and then like halfway through like what's this what do we do everyone else left and it's, it's you're in charge and everyone's looking at you like what do we do and you don't know you're still figuring it out why, why are you describing my past <laughs> everyone's phone's about in that to go mode right now it never huh? ends everyone's phone's about to go off it's like my mind, when, I just oh, turned mine off it's like when you become <laughs> an adult and you're like you're waiting for that whole adulthood thing to kick in and it, it never kicks in nope. you realize this is just life yeah. why did we want to do this again as kids because we could do stuff do yeah. more time. Like kids. going to unpayable now amounts of debt? And ice cream. Now we have no time, so we're dedicating more time than we need that we don't have. <laughs> I'll tell you how much time I have. You? No, no, no. apparently, because we can never get you to do anything. Nope. <laughs> nope. But I got I'm shit to do. Shocked we got you on the podcast. <laughs> I know. You know what I'll have to do if he doesn't stay for the wrestling podcast? Just edit the bits he said in this show. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm in both shows? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> we finally have Lance We're going to Carrie Fisher you into the podcast. Nice. Yes. I love Carrie Fisher. Welcome to the Future Reels podcast. We finally got Lance. How was your day, Lance? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
And that's all that has to be put in there. That's all you need from me. I've done you, my job. Hey, you, you need a button on the soundboard just of Lance declaring. I want a soundboard shit. so bad. <laughs> just shit. me declaring. That's Let's shit. Let's take it that way. That's shit. That's shit. That's the best <laughs> shit you can do. So we're going to have the same... Guy. How's the weather? It's shit. It's shit. <laughs> so me and Lance are going to have the same uh, reaction through the whole Free Two Heels podcast. It's shit. It's shit. It's that's all that's garbage. That's basically what I sit here and say, too. So. I mean, that's yeah. basically every podcast, future news podcast, where we're like, how's wrestling? It's shit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, speaking of which, I, uh, I made Lance's day. I tagged him in a uh, Matt Hardy video. Yeah! Shut the fuck up! Here. <laughs> yeah, really. Dude, Broken Hardy is the fucking best. No, that's shit! So that is the most garbage fucking gimmick I've seen in uh, all my days of watching wrestling. Yeah, wow, Lance, tell us how you, that you that really feel. Okay, yeah, so one of the Hardys. <laughs> Here's a little the one you don't expect. The one you don't expect, yeah, the one that nobody cared about. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Damn. Tell us how you really feel. Has this gimmick now where he's, well, at first he was broken Hardy, but that's, you know, TNA shit or something, so. He's going to be broken again soon. He's gonna be broken now. He already is broken. So now for WWE, he's oh, that's how far removed Lance is. Woken, that's still a new thing. Party. <laughs> still not, he's, and he's just got this stupid thing where he's like possessed by some. He's possessed by yeah. A what the being fuck is it? Immortal and some, like he has memories of like uh, activity, Alexandria activity. and what? Like the past or some sword? shit. Yeah. <laughs> And so Matt Hardy is his new vessel. Yes. And he exactly. does all this stupid due to my condition and just sounds like a fucking idiot. And does all these crazy, creepy, supposed to be creepy laughs that kind of just make him sound like handicapped. So he's gone So, yeah. I mean, yeah. It, I like, love it's it. just, it's stupid. It's garbage. And it's, it's shit. It's bizarre. It's, it's just all to be bizarre. shit. All right, and it's there not you bizarre. Go. It's are, shit. We now you cut all that off garbage into the next. We part. already have gold dust and stardust for bizarre. Stardust this is, is worse. <laughs> like those, you could actually appreciate. <laughs> Damn, Lance, tell us how you weird. really feel. I am. It's just. It's so annoying. It's dumb. I can't believe that like the WWE or any of its like producing or any writers or any owners thought that that was a good fucking. I need idea. to show <laughs> you the final deletion and all the shit that he did. Yeah, where delete, it's like, delete. What he's the past, but we're gonna talk about delete, which well, is the t- future. Well, the TNA stuff was like they threw. Uh, I think it was like Hurricane Helms into a volcano. And it erupted, and he, like, CG flew up in the air and oh. eventually came down and it the one to So three. wrestlers are, you That's know, coming terrible. out of the volcano. I hate that. Shit they now. really CGI. Yes, it looks yeah. terrible. That's wow. what wrestling is now. That's shit. what TNA they is think. now. Yeah. It, I just want to hear that glass shatter and see fucking Steve yeah. Austin come walking Yeah, from the WWF the Attitude Era. <laughs> You know what else? Shit. See, now you've got me fucking going. <laughs> <Yeah. Happy> now. <laughs> See, what you got now is just name Namersons. <laughs> that drives me fucking nuts, too. Who's this guy's name? Brett Michaels. Michaels Michaels. Aaron yes. Anderson. <laughs> what happened to the characters? What happened to this character of a wrestler? Mm-hmm. You know? Steve Austin. Yeah, it was a name Namerson, but it was fucking Steve Austin. What the hell are you going to do about it? Oh, Nothing. Because you don't want to do man. anything about it. Yeah, Macho Man, gimmicks, Hulkamania with Hulk Hogan and Mankind, Kane, Big Show, Andre the Giant, Ultimate Jimmy, Warrior. Superfly, Snooker. They had, like, this character that right. they were playing, and there was the heel and the face, and now they're just all, I'm Guy Gyerson, we're uh, trying to make the WWE the uh, MMA, so we're all just going to have really cool, like, professional stage names, like in Hollywood, and I'm going to be, you know, Jeff Jefferson, and... Go out and punch people and shit. There you, go. you know, and that, that's that's wrestling. that's wrestling now. That's Pretty what much. it is now. The gold of wrestling is gone. It's been looted, probably by Blood Pack. <laughs> and he brings it back it's in better hands now. Yeah, so they need to fix it. 
Fix it, fix it or he's getting a lawyer. Fix it or I'm getting Lance a lawyer. Lance walked in, took the gold, and said you can have this back it when you get happen. your shit out of yeah, your ass. Yeah, get your Bro, shit we, together. We need a prop WWE belt for, like, if you ever get a chance to slam someone on the ground, and you're going to stand up and pull the belt. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll get in their face and yell power. and throw birds and call for beers. I'll just be the Austin. <laughs> I've got a box full of belts over there. You won't. Hell yeah. You so, won't? No, I won't because there's a bunch of stuff under it. Yeah, like, nah. You keep saying that, but we never see them. <laughs> yeah. I will get them out. Brian always has a box of something. Yeah, he does. Man, if only we could find that. I've got a whole box of that. Yeah. Hey, we need this thing. I got like three cases of that at the house. <laughs> yeah, what do you mean? It's in here. Yeah, real fucking good it's doing here. Anytime I'm like, Brian, we need a 4K camera. And he's like, I don't have that. <laughs> <laughs> I think there'd be a box in your 4K cameras, but no. No. 3K camera or something. 3K? Yeah. Not even. <laughs> <laughs> oh. the same VHS trilogy box set that I had. I've got the... Uh, gold special edition what K is box VHS? slides out of it. <laughs> I've got the uh, German one out in the living room. Hell yeah. Which Darth Vader sounds badass in German. Probably. Probably does. Yeah. So you guys want me to read this blood pack thing? Oh, yeah. Please yeah. do yeah. that. Yeah. We're going to go back to that now. For great aid. Now no, that I'm done I'm being boring. triggered... <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake! Maximum triggering. <sighs> All right, so what is this? This is like your. It felt good. Don't don't deny it. <laughs> it I mean, I did. It did let. It did, I feel it did better. It's right. off my Thank chest. Thank God for post. So can we cut out that whole like half hour WWE <laughs> sidebar and just save it for stick the back WWE to podcast. yeah. We're done with this podcast. We'll just pretend we're like we're, we're, we're on done. point and talked about this blood pack thing all the way. The through. whole time. <laughs> oh no! This this is the bullshit podcast. Everything is left in here. <laughs> Brilliant. We're gonna cut oh, this productive shit out yeah. so our listeners don't lose focus. Yeah. <laughs> They never were focused in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what is this? Your man? This is what you were trying to figure out a minute ago, weren't you? Your mantra, your philosophy, or something like that. This is the backstory. The, the backstory. very sophisticated backstory that we <clears throat> didn't just write five minutes ago. Basically, yeah. just a page of information for someone wanting to look and say, "So what's this unit about?" And you read this, and say, like, "Cool, you know what that unit's about." Okay, so this is probably like a rough draft. Yeah, Blood Pack's a unit <coughs> in that here, and a unit is a group of fighters, friends that decide to fight together and form, you know, a unit which can have team. a culture, which could not, you know, yeah, a team from like a sporting aspect, that's like their team. So this is our unit slash team's lore. Like, the group itself has a backstory, not just all the personal characters. Okay. Everybody all right? Keep recording. Okay. We didn't stop. We don't stop for you. New blood? Yeah. <laughs> what you call new blood? New blood. Oh, there it was. Yeah. Nobody cares. No, nope, nobody cares. And neither right. do I. Well, Moving on. A vicious group of raiders, as diverse as they are brutal. Blood pack consists of survivors of smoldering springs native populations. A mix of fugitive deserters and refugees from many cultures, races, and beliefs that have banded together to take what is theirs, you by be. any means necessary. They raid and pillage everything in their path and leave destruction in their wake. Recklessness and collateral damage mean nothing to them, for they are only concerned with the end goal. Taking to the roads and seeking fortune and glory, the pack carries the old ways with them, turning to forgotten gods and wayward spirits for favor. With a simple philosophy, take what you can and give nothing back. Wealth, power, and strength are all what it, are all that is understood or respected. Blood Pack has a reputation for unorthodox tactics and getting the job done. Fighting any battle, they go wherever that there's loot to take and coin to make. Blood Pack goes where there's loot to take and coin to make. <laughs> Does Red what's on here? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Twice. We're supposed that, uh, we forgot the last to take line out. was supposed to be taken That was a out. sidebar that we added uh, in. We can edit it out in post. It's fine. Yeah. We had a ser- there was a series of bullets at the bottom of the page that ah. we were supposed to incorporate back into the paragraph. We, we ended up working. Back. You just ended up leaving all of them in. Extra. Yeah. So just delete that excellent line. All right. Just Matt Hardy that out. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you get him going again. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Here it comes. No? Nope. Right. You won't. He's going to lower his head for a moment, and then when it comes back up, it's going to be Steve Austin. I know it. <laughs> so bro, is, that, is that Slave 4? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm sorry, hang on. That cool <laughs> shit you got, is that? Slave 4 up there in that cardboard box? 
Oh, that's the that's the Arc One Seventy from the prequels. The one that was like the kind of like an X Wing. Kim got me an Arc One Seventy Lego set. Yeah, I love the Arc One Seventy. The Arc One Seventy is the one that fits in the hyper. It ends up uh, no. No, no, that's a Jedi Starfighter. Go get it. You're gonna want to play with it. A lot of bounty hunters. New Blood, bring me that toy. It's an X Wing, but with the New Blood. One of the New Bloods, bring me that toy. It's an X Wing, but it's got a wing with the cannons on it in the middle, so it's more like a asterisk wing. New Blood toy. <laughs> oh, you can't get anything up there. There's two holes. There's you're not, a big you're not very wing. good at the grimace phase. See, grimace when he was a new blood, he'd have got it already. I wouldn't <laughs> even had to have finished the sentence. Good for grimace. Yeah. Oh. He got he one. That he did. You got some new blood attitude. <laughs> I got new blood attitude too. I got some new blood attitude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that was. I don't know any of that. I don't know. It's a song. It is now. I, I don't think it is. It is now. <laughs> <laughs> it is now. It happened. So what else about Blood Pack? What do you guys mainly... What are your characters? Your orcs, right? Orcs or something? Well, there's of... several different... Get it myself. <laughs> We're going to hear how the ball sound again. Tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, does he have oh the wings are missing. It looks more like a sawed-off shotgun. Looks <laughs> 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 like a sawed-off shotgun. There we go. You happy? We got <laughs> entertained for a few minutes. Not really. It was the rest of it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it'd be better <laughs> no if kidding. the wings were on it, too. They're on the I remember having one of those when I was a kid. But that? you know what's even yeah, better? Brian's now. got one now when he's 30. Yeah. <laughs> I'm 30. <laughs> And this room was full of toys. Pretty much. So you guys that are like was orcs. the goal. That was, that was what we zero all wanted. Zero regrets. Thirty, we yeah. all wanted. No regrets. Yeah. No regrets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no regrets. You guys are orcs, trolls, that type of thing. Just Most of the unit. It's not a exclusively a monster <laughs> unit. But um, like oh, like Alred, mm -hmm. he's human. Grimace. Is a dwarf. Balmusa is half troll. Right, half troll. Uh, I'm a half orc. Korsgar is a half orc. Sandstorm is an ogre. Right, that's what I thought. And um, Narcius is human. And Zeno. Zeno's human. Mm -hmm. Okay, I thought he was like a shadow. Bullshit thing. Depends on what day it is. Okay. Um, <laughs> I don't know if real. I even told Brian or if I'm even going to be included in all this. My character's name is Zion. Oh, nice. Very so good. He's just going to be pretty much my, my bad <coughs> guy from the story. Is that right? So, but he's basically just going to be a recorder. A scribe. Did, is the notebook in here, Brian? That I bought? No, it's still out there. Why are we watching the notebook? Part of, uh, <laughs> why, are watching, why are we all going to watch I saw that notebook. movie. It's not good. Guys, we're going to watch the notebook together? Part of no. my character is that I'm going to be a Wait traveler. A we saw the notebook together. <laughs> 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 oh, Pineapple shit. Pineapple on pizza and now the notebook. Okay, look. Yeah, it's not like together. just <laughs> us went. You <laughs> fucking <laughs> idiot. No, we're at, the, we're at the movie theater. Well, hold on. Now you two got to tell a story because something just happened. <laughs> tell what? Give me uh, some pizza. You're not ready. bros until we watch <laughs> chick flicks together, guys. Well, we did, but it was with chicks. Oh, yeah. Well, were that's you, the part he's not well, telling were you. Were you guys next to each other? Hard no. <laughs> Hard part. I don't know about the no part. No. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Fuck sake. Can you just hand me empty boxes? That is how leadership works. That was actually a Did you just for my hand leadership. me empty boxes? <laughs> Hold this. That's probably empty too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck me. <laughs> Savage. That's life. Oh, there is, sometimes there is no pizza. Back to listen to. <laughs> I don't give a shit about your leadership in my show. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, and most, no pineapple. most of those most of those characters all have there's their own no personal there. backstory Jesus. and lore. Right. Like my character is that I'm going to be a traveler. I seek knowledge. I even bought a little notebook online that has like a compass on it. Oh, nice. So I'm gonna, oh, yeah. I don't know what I'm going to fill that notebook with because I can't draw or write. So <laughs> I can Maps. write and it's not well. There you go. As long as you can read it. 
Yeah, maybe. Oh, random lines. Really what was that, Brian? I was like, I don't even know how to read. <laughs> and I just flat out refused to. Yeah. What was your little notebook story? What happened? You went and saw the notebook together? <laughs> We're not letting oh, that go. Right well, go ahead and tell your version of the story, <laughs> you big fucking homo. <laughs> I just realized, <laughs> like, he was, someone said we were watching the notebook, and I'm like, that's funny. Wait, you were there! <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I totally forgot. Uh, yeah, Me we just, too. We just... Thanks, Scores Gone. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? No, we just we saw the <laughs> what you know, want? Was it good? No! I loved it. That's a great story. I mean, no, it's... It's a textbook abusive relationship, like every love <laughs> story. It's why everyone's dating life is <laughs> Not a textbook him. abusive relationship, it's a notebook abusive relationship. <laughs> yeah. You know, if you hit with notebooks, it doesn't leave marks. <laughs> Jesus! Spiral not, bound. Yeah, not, I was going to say, not the spiral bound ones. Cause really want the marks. That'll get you in trouble. Yeah, well, it's Or a bag of oranges. You gotta oranges. get those composition notebooks. Guys, Hollywood's gonna take us down if we keep talking about abuse like this. Oh. <laughs> they, what do you mean they're gonna take us down? Oh, yeah. Hey, Fifty Shades Free just released not too long ago, so I think we'll be okay. What are you saying? Wait. <laughs> Fifty Shades Free came out, I don't know how, how long ago. How is that movie so Shades popular? What? Freed. Freed. That's the last Freed. part of the. Yeah, Freed. Freed. Don't ask me why. He probably knows why. Freed Freed. isn't like she finally went to the police and got a restraining If only. (laughs) If fucking only. (laughs) With all the sexual harassment and shit going on with Hollywood and Fifty Shades is like the biggest fucking franchise right now. Uh, Never mind that, all the bullshit misinformation that's in that trilogy. All the misinformation. Zip ties and BDSM. Clearly he knows. What? (laughs) Zip ties and BDSM. Are you trying to hurt the other person? Let's go back to Oh, yeah, actually. This this is the the kind of story that's enjoyed by soccer moms who think that doggy style is kinky. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Being real. (laughs) Giving it to Coors on that one. We go off the interstate with this top of Coors Grand. We better go on. Three. Well, we're done editing this, it's going to be three minutes. We don't <laughs> edit this! <laughs> <laughs> He's not wrong. The productive parts of our conversation could have been a vine. Yeah. This part of the story brought to you by Fifty Shades of Grey. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so back to the character store. No, don't point at me, I'm pointing at you, you're the guy. You're talking about, I don't know shit about blood back. Oh, God. Do it. Yes, my child. <clears throat> right, so what do you want to know? Are we just having a Mexican standoff? I'll point at everybody in this room at some point. <laughs> Proper Grimace, knife go hands. go ahead. With what? Talk about blood pack. There you go. Blood there. pack. Proper knife hand. <laughs> don't, don't do it. Don't. Please even. don't. You won't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, are you I'm any, are you any better than be last time? Because you were terrible at the one of them. It's not my fault. Oh, man. Shots so fired. Awesome. I mean, you should hear Brian use it. He's pretty good. We have. Hey. Yeah, I'm not that good. Don't, don't pass it back here. What? No, I'm not better than <laughs> I think they're challenging you to a flute off. Flute off. I should have brought my real flute. You should have. Flute off. Flute off. Um, oh, you have a real drum in here? Yeah, I, 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 these, these are just a huh? thing. They got yeah. just beat on it for a while. Set of four back at the These house. things, somebody took a kitchen knife and just gouged one out. Yeah, it's like 99 cent <laughs> bamboo flea market ones. Was that a band? No, oh. I literally just started like less than six months ago. Oh, okay, cool. I just thought like the only difference between anyone who knows how to do something and someone who doesn't know how to do something was time spent doing it, and I could probably just learn off of YouTube. So I bought a flute on Amazon and I've been teaching myself off of YouTube videos. There you go. There you go. That's how you do it. True. That's I, how I do it. I can't read music That's... or nothing, but I got a folder full of like receipts and notebook paper with like scratch notes written on the side of like so I can follow it and play. Right. Exactly. That's how I do everything. What did you call me last week? I don't know. What, what? did I call you last week? All right, too long call I'm gonna Brian this. No, the, uh, <laughs> he just does everything or whatever. Oh yeah, Mister, he just does everything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, wait a minute. You can just do it. Nothing's stopping you. It's true. Yeah, Look, that's how there I'm are going. two microphones hooked up right now, just in case you didn't know, the listeners. And I didn't know how the fuck to do that until about how long... This podcast has been on for 39 minutes, so 45 minutes ago I figured it out. My <laughs> God. What a time to be alive. Hell yeah. I got a banjo. <laughs> yeah. You do have a banjo. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna check that out. Yeah, it's pretty fun. You should have brought it. No. We got, so we got drums, banjos... Flutes. Flutes. Didgeridoos. 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 
The <laughs> <laughs> don't. So we are apparent. We need to write in Bard somewhere in <laughs> that backstory. We can recruit Dame and get a saxophone. Just a period, but it is sweet. <laughs> Why don't we just have Dame? That's been my plan. seriously. I've been trying. Like I s- s- even private messaged him about joining. <laughs> no response. I take it. No. Like he's my. Favorite other person that's not in like our group already. Yeah, like Dane right. is great. Like him and that one he is guy Dane. He is Dane. at the Lion Door that I, I don't know if I've ever caught his name, but he is just cool as fuck. <laughs> Which Everybody. one? I don't know. I don't know the his big name. Big bear dude. No, not the bear. I like him too. Yeah, man, bear pig. Yeah, I mean, unworthy. That that's Josh. He's yeah. He's yeah. fucking awesome. But the other guy, the other guy that's just like, just fucking like the coolest dude. He's just every time I see him, just we need to you gotta give us more. The, um, I mean, they're all cool. You people. with the face and the was he the, the, was he the ring master? Sound like you're the stoner. Of the no, group, right? I think that's, the, <laughs> that's Wayne. No, the uh, the guy who was you know where the skull was? Yeah. I think his original quest was around that air that corner over there. With like the little, Aaron. Like yes, I think the that's little the yeah. rocker beard. Yeah, yes. that's Aaron. That's Aaron. Yeah, he's like, cool. He's that, awesome. That cool guy's just cool. As fuck. Yeah, he's always just like so happy we're there. Yeah, like. <laughs> I think most of that. He'll thank us like there. 20 times. Yeah. He's like, thanks for coming out, guys. He's fucking cool. Yeah. The guy is super chill. I, I think I have him on his look like. He was the monster, one of the monsters in the monster fights. He looks like he should be playing for Godsmack. Yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> he does. Uh, I think I have him on Instagram. Let me see if I can find A band. Him. Oh, okay. What do you say? Jesus. What's uh, God smack? Get the fuck out of the road. <laughs> <laughs> Grimace, that's three. So how many people are, are in Blood Pack? Enough. That's a good question. To party. We ask ourselves oh, every day. We do. Okay. <laughs> so, like, on the like books. This, this is Blood Pack, but there's like an extended family. What we pretty much just say anytime we're asked is who you see right now is Blood Pack. Sure. <laughs> yeah. You um, guys are like the core. No, missing a couple. Uh, yeah, missing we're a couple still of missing them. some key. Okay. Let's see. There's. Well, yeah, Sandstorm's not here. Korsgar, Grimace, Balmusa, myself. Zeno. Allred, Z- there's Zeno, Sandstorm. Sandstorm, and Narcissus. So. Nine. And if you want to yes. count them, Benny. Yes. I so. still am not sure Benny's real. I don't know that anyone <laughs> <laughs> him in No, I wasn't going to say anything. <laughs> I think he's just a Facebook app that talks to us through messages. I knew he was a and fucking bot. Yeah, he's not <laughs> that guy's a bot. We practice every so often. He's not real. <laughs> and we've got one that we're talking about adding. So. Yes, there is discussion for a uh, additional okay. recruit or new blood. And then there's also myself and Brooks. Whoa, 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 whoa. So <laughs> You're in the extended family. Whether you like or not. <laughs> I'm in a lot of shit Brian get me into, so I'm used to Pretty much. So I mean, story of, of my <laughs> life. <laughs> <laughs> into a lot of shit Brian's made me get into. Yeah, that is. Hey, that is. Yeah, if it wasn't for me. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. True shit. You'd True still shit. be. Don't say it. I'll hurt you. Do it. Do it. Bet you won't. Double dog. You won't. Big old <laughs> I just gave him the blue. Ready to He'll get do it. Ready to fix, buddy. And I got my red in the car. I got my long sword in there. What would he still be doing? Oh, I don't where know. Uh, Look at you. Wanting dirt. What would he still be doing? Where are we? In unemployed in Greenland. <laughs> what the fuck? Yes. Making, Princess making, Bride? Uh, I've Princess never seen Princess Bride. What? I what? Hey, you're fun. not alone. You're not alone. I need Don't to see it. Cool. Plebeians. Money. But Princess Bride, that sounds like a chick flick. Yeah, it's not, I know it's really not. It's, it's completely not. It's fucking fantasy yeah, story. I need to see it. You do. Andre the Giant's like, in it. I know. Yeah. I didn't Ooh. know that until... From Real Wrestling? Yeah. Well, you know it now. Featuring the voice of Bruce. Anybody want a peanut? <laughs> 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 yes. Guys, let's not do that, okay? <laughs> My poor microphones. <laughs> <laughs> we are putting them through it. Yeah. We are. Don't so touch jog his memory. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to jog him so hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. 
Are you talking about Andre? Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. He's hardly uh, better. Than me. I can't help He's it. not actually He's dead. He went back in time. Me. Wow. Oh man. I can't even right now. I'm gonna watch Princess Bride the next couple of days. Uh, good. Yeah. It's not gonna take two days to watch it. I got all day tomorrow. I'm playing Destiny with my dad, and then Monday I'm gonna watch Princess Bride. You can do it while playing Destiny. Just don't play Destiny. We only have two teams. You will lose nothing if yeah. you do that. I love Destiny. I don't want He's to already know. lost it. He's gone. There's no. There's nothing we can do. Wait, what? Time of death. <laughs> You Why could I like Destiny? Time of death when he picked up Destiny 2. I have 200 plus yeah. hours in Destiny 2. Oh my god, there's no hope for you. It's fucking great. I mean, to be fair, that will be me when Kingdom Come Deliverance comes out. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> yeah, he, he had to show us a trailer for it. Or a playthrough or something. Yeah, no. PC or Xbox or PlayStation? Yes. Yep. All three. Cross platform. You have it on all three? No, it's, it's not out yet. yet. No, Des Destiny 2. Oh. <laughs> PS4. Damn. I haven't PS4 touched it for I haven't uh, touched it for months. I haven't touched Destiny. Monster Hunter's gonna be my next to I've been playing Bloodborne all this time, so I can't play those games. But half the group can't talk about this, so <laughs> I just play Warhammer 40k Eternal Crusade. Eternal Oh, I need to play that. I dude, have a key that for game. It. You do? Oh, dude. Uh, Ed gave me one. Nice. Yeah, Ed gave me one. So, do it. Do you guys now. still play? I play it constantly. I'm going to start downloading it right now. There you go. He's playing it right now. But you won't. I completely lost him. forgot Then we can that. squad up, we'll get on team speak, and we'll fucking rule. That's what yeah. happened last Saturday, though. Like, they started talking about that, and all of a sudden I got a like fucking fighting lesson from Tester on how to survive. Yeah, it sucks that Miss Tester. Oh, yeah, he does that. <laughs> like... He got... Just uh, Muay Thai. And, yeah. And, uh, it wasn't even that. It was just fish hook them, gouge your eyes out. Like, Thai right. lady boys. Thanks. You know. I'm getting my Jeep worked on soon. I'm going to make it out to a nerd night. Nice. I just, my Jeep's been running like shit. Lucky I make it this far and back. Well, I keep telling him, I'm like, hey, wait till 1030 when I get off and then go to nerd nights. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what? No. Yeah, I was asleep by 1030 last time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it wasn't like the one time you went, Brooks. It's not always like that. I don't know. We were just... What happened when Brooks went? We just sat... We just, just kind of did whatever. We just relaxed, yeah. kind of. Yeah, we just sat there and watched Tom Segura. Yeah. Which was great. Which was fine. Tom Segura was funny. He was pretty good. He was funny. He was good. That was good. I gave him that. And then the... Um, I don't even know what the fuck those other videos are. I don't just, know, but it was funny. Oh, those are just meme compilations. <laughs> oh, that sounds terrible. No, they're all... They were funny as shit. pretty fantastic. Yeah? <laughs> they, they really were funny as shit. <laughs> yeah. They're so bad. Then I right. fell asleep, then they started working. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Have you seen right. Warhammer 2? Total War Warhammer 2? No. It's uh, RTS, but it's like mm -hmm. the biggest RTS of all time, and it has like 30 fucking races in it, and like... Nice. The, uh, there was a Space massive Space. map in the original game, and then the second one came out, and there was a massive map, and then they did some DLC. Both the maps are now in the game. <laughs> Hell yeah. So it's double massive. It's <clears throat> fucking huge. Apparently you cannot finish the campaign in so long. And there's politicking, and... And not finish it. There's <laughs> combat, and like it just that looks like, like a so fucking cool. You won't. I won't, because I don't even have the game. I have the first one. He can't. One. His computer won't run it. Oh. oh. This little laptop will run just about anything, and I'm getting a better one very soon. Once my taxes come in. Mine already came in. So is there anything else you were wanting to... Anything else you want to talk about Blitpack? Uh, I remember you asked something now specific. Now I'm on Eternal Crusade. I'm trying to figure out how to install this. I know. Apparently I don't own it. Yes, I do. Yeah, you were wanting to do the, the layout thing. Yes, I do. He's laying out? Oh, yeah, there was just things I wanted to talk about. Right. Yeah. But I'll be right back. Oh, great. Keep recording. Keep recording. Yeah. Tell them about Tell them. Stop. I'll be right back, but keep going so I miss <laughs> it. you got to say it twice. What is okay. this layout? You, okay, so we saw the notebook. You tell them about the time we watched uh, Brave Little Toaster. That sounds great. We're not talking about that ever. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with Brave Little Toaster? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> Where did it touch you? <laughs> 
Why did the brave little toaster touch you? Like, once again, boys, we're going to off the turnpike. We need to get back on the turnpike. <laughs> it touched Brooks my heart. Brooks is only here to keep the podcast on track. <laughs> this is a garage. Can I Jeremy smoke the in host here? Brooks. <laughs> when we start talking about touching parts and shit, we off. Oh, yeah. Touching parts. You know what the fuck I'm talking about. (laughs) Here, hit him. Please. I will say. (laughs) Hit him. Is that Brian's blade? No, that's mine. No, that's... I am immortal, bitch. Let me see it for a sec. Fucking highlighted. No. Felt good, didn't it? No. Oh, this is even... Stop. Stop. (laughs) God damn it. This is, I think, the one that's Brian. (laughs) (laughs) The one... Dig it, that one he's got. (laughs) The one he's got out there. Oh, yeah, because that's... This is even light as... Fuck compared to what we that's used a, to That's a dagger here sword. Oh, okay. That's a min spec dagger here, 34. Yeah, you feel that one he's got out there is Brian light. has it. Brian has an amp guard sword. Light that's light. Yeah. Like, I, I went down there to, with him to Brandon for the amp guard one. Yeah. <laughs> and dude, like, I feel like I ain't have nothing in my hand. Yeah. yeah. That's why I call those Pixel carbon six. omni red like, angry. I swung it, and I got, I got, got, I got worried when I swung it. I thought I was swinging it hard. You fucking. Those, tell no me if I'm getting it. into don't talk about this territory. Those are a bit more dangerous. These are like. The dagger here right. builds. Really yes, safe. in in our opinion, they are like over engineered to safety. It's probably a good thing. Though. Which awesome. is good. Also, probably give and take. Um, they're heavier. They have more dag weapons. Have more weight to them, and weight comes with its own added risk. Watts brought up the good argument that even though their weapons were unpadded, headshots weren't dangerous until people started doing them with dag weapons. Huh. Mm. Like you can put a lot of sting into a fast weapon because you can swing it really fast, but there's not going to be as much force and follow through behind it. So you said I Watts is. It'll sting you more, would, but hurt you less, if that makes it'll sense. Sting, it'll sting, and it'll be a loud pop. Watts is not padded? At the time, or even now, Watts used to have a very low level of padding on their Damn. weapons. And their weapons were also made with golf club core, so yeah, their, their weapons ridiculous were bamboo. Like, it was a very minimalist construction. And, okay. Uh, Me and my cousin used to fight with bamboo sticks, so it didn't hurt Yeah, like bad. staffs. Yeah. yeah. But uh, Dagger here and Amp Guard are more padded than Watts. But, in, you know, my opinion specifically, that just... I prefer padded weapons. People always talk tough about fighting with unpadded sticks, but the reality is if you're fighting with unpadded sticks and you're not wearing protective gear, then you're not going full force. You're just standing there half-assedly whacking each other with sticks because if you really went full out with a stick... You'd break a bone or kill somebody. Sure. You can fuck someone up with a stick. And so if you really want to be going at full force, you either need to be covered in armor or using a stick that's padded. Like that three minutes of getting beat up. Mm. That would have been way more severe without that padding. Been, you wouldn't, they wouldn't have done it. Yeah, there yeah. wouldn't have been a clear guard. <laughs> yeah. You wouldn't have lasted a minute on you know, unpadded yeah. shit. Oh, yeah. Like, especially with a gang beating you like that. I mean, I mean don't, get, don't get me wrong. I mean, everyone, you know, hears that it's... Padded battle games and everyone. Th- oh, I it's stripped all the foam like, off a of glaive and it, brought it down on your shoulder. Then you it is just like a wrestling ring. It's padded, but that shit hurts. <laughs> yeah, like there's shots I've taken from these weapons, and like a, it's like left a mark. Mm-hmm. And it's gotten salty. And uh, yeah, I get salty. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Chris. But uh, sometimes like it, it'll hurt. It'll rock you. Like I've been. People get concussions. Staggered by sometimes. some shots. Yeah. That's why I don't fuck with that shit. Mm-hmm. I can't afford getting a concussion. And plus, I'll fucking go ape shit on somebody. Oh, yeah. People do it now. No, I don't, I don't, I don't like that. It's usually the red weapons that do it, though. Which are... Well, they, like, those are the two-handed weapons. Okay. Right. Anything. Break shields, break armor. Right, yeah. Those are the ones that will act, that could actually give you a concussion if you actually try for them. The ones that, that try a to blue, hit a 400-foot home run. A blue, some special stuff has to go on before this will give you a concussion. I think with blues, you also have probably more control to not get headshots. Mm, give and take. You'd be surprised the control uh, that me, some red fighters have. Two, I agree, absolutely. Yeah. Having but two hands won't. on a weapon does so much for you like it's actually noted uh amongst real fencers and sword and sword users that um a rapier takes more strength to use oh a yeah sword because a long sword you put two hands on have your whole body controlling sure. and a rapier is fully extended literally clutching your wrist and a three or four pounds weight difference that's actually there doesn't mean as much as having two muscles versus your whole body behind a weapon 
So when you have a weapon that's like my glaive is eight feet long, but six of that is handle, and I have my entire body to maneuver that weapon and control it and stop it and change its direction. Yeah. Mm. I can see that. <clears throat> History lessons here. Mm hmm. Mm. That's good enough. I think the only headshots I really encountered were from bows, which didn't hurt. Yeah, yeah. and those are legal anyway, so. Unless yeah. you happen to be for blessed with an eye socket that is just two and a half inches wide. <laughs> <laughs> See, they figured, I got hit by one that kind of rocked me a bit. Someone speaking of eye sockets. Two and a half inch was a good eye socket yeah. size, mm-hmm. and as long as anything, every projectile and missile and pommel and cross guard was two and a half inches wide or more, that it would be safe, but. You catch a min spec arrow dead center of my eye. It's just enough to miss the socket and just be all eye, and oh, it's okay, like yeah. getting punched in the face. It just sucks. Savage. Takes a man. I want a crossbow so bad for Dag. Actually, I saw a guy using a crossbow <laughs> and a crossbane. I got mad at Brian because I was like, why the fuck didn't you ask him where he got it? Yeah. I saw the silliest <laughs> shit at a day battle. A guy had a shield and crossbow, and he was just walking around, threatening people, basically. That's badass. Walk, and it was working because he had entire lines of people just freezing and hesitating because all he had to do was pull the trigger and shoot you, but like, but that was the only, he could only do it one time. So he never did it. But uh. the fact that he could kept everybody at bay and stopped. He'd be running around. He was holding the line. He was the MVP. He'd just run up and brandish his shit and tire like five people at a time and stop and like recoil. I'm like, oh. Like, oh. Like, oh. Like, oh. Like, oh. Like, that line's collapsing. So he'd run over there and wave it around and they'd all be like, oh. And they break off. And That's like he's got smart. a grenade with a pen That's out smart. of it. That's awesome. Is that, I don't do shit like that. Next is going to be a guy with the rock. <laughs> Sometimes if I'm about to get rough, I just like smack the ground a couple of times or like pop the weapon all the way up in the air and take a vertical stance. I can't throw any shots from there. Just no one wants to fight you when you look like that. Yeah. I just fight an eight foot weapon held back like Babe Ruth and they're like, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just like, I'm not doing this today. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's someone else charge that guy first. <laughs> you know, yeah, five I'm... or six people just standing there waiting for anybody to be first. Like, I'll die the second they all rush, but someone has to be first and mm. no one wants to be first. You do that and the other guy's like, man, I can't be bothered, really? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Like, the first time someone looks like he's going to try, just yell at him and flex real loud and, like, <laughs> fucking smack at him a couple of times. I'll tell you something. I've been in a couple of fights in, like, high school. I always won by being the crazier person. <laughs> the stupid, That's how you do it. Sometimes, Un- unpredictability. Sometimes stupid things are intimidating. Like, I'll stab the center of someone's shield super hard. There's, it's meaningless. Gets, gains me nothing. In fact, if they charged the second I did that, I'd be dead and defenseless. I but, know. like, rather than them taking advantage of it, they stop what they're doing. Someone takes a step up, like, wait a minute, I can just charge this fool. They go and charge me, and I stab them super hard on the steel. Like, oh, shit, fuck, and I step, take a step back. But why? You have to teach them. Don't teach them the error of their ways. Don't teach them if they're not in blood pack. The way it works. <laughs> No, man, I teach everybody everything I want. <laughs> as soon as I kill people, I tell people how I kill them so that they don't do it again. <laughs> and then I have to keep learning. <laughs> so if you're listening and you dag, stop being afraid of stupid bullshit that's not scary. <laughs> <laughs> the same spear fake works on three quarters of, di- of you guys. It's terrible. Stop. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> that's the one where you go up the legs and just go straight up. It's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Everybody. Everybody. I've seen them kill multiple people with that. I just, killed one just dangle it out there shoot. like oh, oh, oh and they're like I'm gonna swipe that shit I'm gonna swipe it and they fucking swipe and they swing wide and just come like stab in the gut every time I did one on a shield guy where I went to go for his legs and popped it up into his chest he tried to block his legs we need to do a blood pack uh, fighting series on the YouTube channel <laughs> could work hell yeah I just want to go a shield tutorial I have shit fundamentals, it would just be a bunch of videos of, like, dirty tricks. <laughs> that would be great. That's okay. That's the point. <laughs> <laughs> That's the That's book of five fight. lines in a nutshell, so... Yeah. You're bad at the basics, but you got the advanced stuff down. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Me, I just don't know what I'm doing. I'm just doing it. <laughs> you just play around. I just go out there like an animal, and people don't like it. Screaming and smashing people. Actually, I'm really quiet when I yes, fight. You yeah. Oh, do you want to tell your side of the story about what happened at the event with the guy, take your hits? The trial? 
I'd rather not. Okay, Brian uh, told his end of the story. Uh, yeah, he loosely brushed upon it, and he did a good job not naming any specifics. So it was... In the end, it was all alright. Yeah. Just temper flare kind of thing. Yep. He had a moment. Fuck somebody up. No. Huh? <laughs> no. <laughs> Let's just not talk about bullshit. Can we yeah. not? Can I need to compare the podcast because he did the exact same fucking thing on that show. <laughs> what? You're like, do I need to go fuck somebody oh. up? <laughs> don't fuck with boys now. No. Nah. <laughs> Shit happens. Heat of the Especially moment. Trials are always hard and just, yeah. it's just, there's a lot going on. You made it through it though, right? Oh, yes. What, uh, what actually, I, I did pass my trial. My trial was to rank up in the unit and become a marauder, so I got how blooded. How did you do that? We did, it's called a barreling, Korsgar. Yep. Did a barreling, which is, um, Korsgar decided to punish me and round up a bunch of really skilled fighters. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, Leah, don't, don't deny it. Yeah. That's what I did. He did. But, um, the barreling works, uh, the fighters all line up, and I'm, like, there, you know, in the fighting area waiting. First guy runs in. Now, normal barreling is you fight him till you beat him, and then, you know, immediately the next guy runs in, whether you've had time to pick your shit up or not. But I had to beat each of them twice. Okay. You know, which could turn into fighting the same guy five times. <laughs> so, I've fought ten guys two times. I was dead, exhausted, and useless by the end of it, but somehow I... Managed to do it, so... So what is the next trial? Uh, the next trial would be to rank up to Reaver, which really isn't an attainable position right now, because okay. it's still in the works. You so know, is this a rank within Blood Pack or Dag? Blood Pack. This is okay. strictly just the unit. Gotcha. I mean, other units have trials and ranks and stuff. Dagger here as a sport doesn't really have ranks, at least to my knowledge. Yeah, okay. there's like a war council. And then Unless you count it. knighthood, which... Yeah. yeah. It's very loose. Realm place. leaders, maybe. Yeah. That's kind of like out of okay. game, though. But but that's like strictly for Blood Pack as a unit. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah you've been here the whole time. You come you in just... You come in as a new blood, and then once you're blooded, you become a marauder. And then... Eventually, one day, when everything's finalized and worked out, and we see a need for it, the Reaver rank would be attainable. Right. And have we figured out non-com yet? Non-com, the ranks are the same, right. but there's just different non-combat ways of it, obtaining it. You want to talk about it a little bit, Brian? Aren't you working on that? Or? I'm working on it, but I don't know what I have to do. So as soon as they tell me I've reached my requirements, I'm done. He's the trial run for non-com because we haven't had a specific non-com join the unit until Balmusa came back. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, figure it out so I can do it. I'm special. <laughs> but the ranks, you know, the the titles are the same. They're yeah. equal. Like non-coms are just as important sense. as fighters. So. I feel like that would be confusing if they weren't. Right. At first, like in like some people do. Some units have different trees. Some have different. You know, it just it can go all over the place. But we're just trying to. Keep We're it on simple. The straight and narrow. Yeah, just keep it simple. So, if somebody wanted to start LARPing and they're not in Florida, how could they do that? What's the best place to go or to start Facebook. making your own? Facebook, Facebook? yeah. Every, hit, hit the Dagger Here websites and forums. Because there's, there's different types of LARPs all over the place. You literally just need to type in the name, the general bullets of your interests and your area and just see what groups pop up and message those groups and try to find a group near you doing a thing that looks interesting to you. You would be surprised what's going on even in your small town. Like we live in a small ass town. It's like if you if you lived in Brooksville or in uh, Lacanto, you would not expect to be able to find a LARPing chapter out here, but you totally can. There's a few. Yeah. You yeah. have choices. Yeah. You can live in a small ass town like this. You can be in the kind of town that has only one store and it's also a gas station slash post office, and you can <laughs> still find Floral City. Yeah, <laughs> bro. 
it, the, it used to be in full. I, I lived there with Sean, and practice was at Lake Townsend Park in fucking Istachata, Florida. <laughs> Population like 20 goddamn people. Like, <laughs> we had a fucking LARP practice. Like, I said that there is a nice ass park out in Florida City. We could totally LARP it. Yeah, I've been watching a lot of these amp guard videos, and apparently, like, even like Alaska. And Alaska is thriving. There, yeah. Alaska? Yeah. Uh, Way to show us up. Way to look bad, Florida. Yeah. yeah like, job, hey, Florida. that's no one's fault together. but Florida's. The yeah, Wild what West. What we do when you're in Florida is look bad. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> yeah. yeah, I've been watching, and Northreach up in Alaska has their shit so close together, it's ridiculous. And I guess the farthest apart that their two separate parks are are like 540 miles or something like that. But well, it has to be, because once you get any further out, you need to take a single-engine plane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, they said it takes, like, six hours to get from one side of their principality to the other. Because I guess they don't have enough people to be a kingdom or something like that. Well, so right. We, we, we should shouldn't still complain. <laughs> principality. What's that? We shouldn't complain. Yeah. Like, <laughs> they're traveling six hours. And in the winter, because it gets, you know, 20, 40 below zero... They have to play indoors at indoor football fields. That'd be badass. <laughs> badass, but it costs them $95 an hour to rent space. Oh, man. Wow. wow. Yeah. Just play outside for garments. Yeah. No, it, that, will, that will help. I know. That will not help. <laughs> not in negative 40. But it would be cool to play indoors one force. time. I've seen videos yeah. where like people are like practicing in like a gymnasium yeah, or something. Yeah, pack opener happens like inside a, a gymnasium. I think it'd be yeah. hysterical and awesome to go um, to. Like, I'm not sure I'm about it. I kind of like fighting out in the fields. In the I place. like being outside. Like yeah, I like the outside and the woods and the camp part and the open field and like you know the parts that make it feel real. Yeah. You know, I don't think they would. Let but it I just think, like, just even just to practice, just to do it inside, just one. to do it. I guess just because I've seen it, mm-hmm. just because like, I've seen it on <laughs> a, a documentary. Now I want to be like, I've done that. Especially if it was inside somewhere where like padded floors and stuff. And hey, you could, like, the trampoline right, park. Yeah, the trampoline park. The trampoline, the trampoline park. park. Oh, yeah. That would be fun. <laughs> I want to go to one of those. People oh, might. Yeah. There's one rock wall and spearing at each other. People might die. <laughs> Skyzo. We have a friend that works there. How much does it cost? No idea. <laughs> Too much. Not very, I might be actually, you got to ask. I don't think it's much. I might be at Ocala tomorrow. Good. Check out Skyzo. It looks awesome. They have, like, uh, American Gladiator shit. Like they have the big joust. You stand on the tower to knock the other one off. I don't know. Hell yeah. <laughs> We need to go do that. Blood pack trip. What are you two whispering about over there? Nothing. Those are about the spear phones. trials. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That could be your spear trial. That'd be badass. <laughs> now you're just making shit up. Shh. So what else is uh, interesting about blood pack? You guys don't use magic, right? No one? No one here doesn't use magic. No one in Dagger. Or Hamstar does. does. Yeah, but Dag doesn't. Mm-hmm. Uh... And Lance magic. loves magic. <laughs> <laughs> Just gotta keep hold of your balls. No, Brian was telling me that you guys are gonna be immune to magic in Amp Guard? Not magic per se. Amp Guard has classes. Right. To where Dagger here doesn't. Right. So in Amp Guard, some of their classes can use magic, mm-hmm. and some don't. Some are immune. I think only one is truly immune, and that's Barbarian, just because of their, you know, so. Primal and simple. They're immune to commands and subduals. Okay. That's sure. pretty cool. Yeah, so. yeah. So it's, you know, like, like, like say for me, to take on Barbarian and Amp Guard won't be much different than me fighting on the Dag field. So or I should be, Yeah, so I should be able to... Just go right in. Yeah, go right in and play that game just as well. So That's awesome because it feels like a magic user would have quite a bit of an advantage on somebody who's not using magic. But they do and don't. Like, uh, again, the F word, Fengard, their magic sometimes was difficult. It was overpowered. You know, yeah, them guys I, could I just, was a magic user. Yeah, you were. I like, thought it was fucking great. You could just <laughs> huck that shit. Yeah. And if you're hit, it's just like a weapon hit. Yeah. So, That's the Come at me, shit. motherfucker. <laughs> you have but a- I can see where, like, a lot of people think it's stupid. But to me, 
it's about physical representation. Like, I'm holding this dagger. I hit you with the dagger in the leg. You're legged. Yeah. Now, if a game has, like, fireballs and they have, like, you know, some red cloth covered tennis ball or a beanbag to throw at me, something that I can see, dodge, react to. Right. I'm fine. Right. Personally, playing with that kind of magic in a game because right. it is a fantasy medieval. We're not doing historical reenactment. You can have a historically accurate character. You can be from whatever, what is it? 1650. 1650 or back, yes. historically. But um, most of the time, it's just it's fantasy. I mean, Dagger here is a fantasy name. It means battle master or something, an elven oh, from okay. like J.R. Tolkien. Yeah. So, but what I don't like is, you know, if I'm running full charge, you know, for real, physically, and you do some Leviosa shit, and I'm supposed <laughs> to stop running yeah, at you. This is exactly right. That. That's just not happening. That's just too Are much there for me. Are games that have that? There is. Yeah. I think Epcar does. Epcar. And one that, when we went there, one that one girl was doing that? Uh, she was charging spells, I believe. But basically, yeah. But there is... I, just, I, I ain't like that, you know. Just everybody battling all of a sudden. It's like, <laughs> the fuck? It's like Korsgar was saying, that there's so many different LARP games. You know, there's... Fengard, Dagahir, Ampgar, <laughs> Belagarth, Nero, Darkon. What? Those are all different are you games. No, no, I'm not. You can look all these up that I just named. Holy There's crap. probably more that I don't even know the names oh, absolutely. to. Mythic. Mythic. Not to mention the, the Fallout LARPs, the, you know, whatever. Oh, yeah, different genres so. all together. Yeah, yeah, there's Star Wars ones, there's gun yeah. ones where they use Nerf guns and shit Steam instead. Up. You know, yeah. Vampire. But as for, like, medieval That's ones or LARP. medieval <laughs> fantasy ones. A sex LARP? Vampires. Even those ones that I just named all have different magics or right. non-magics or fighting styles or rule sets or hit counts or armor or stuff like that. But, like, there are spells, and I've seen, you know, in, like, you know, videos on YouTube or, like, old documentary movies or short document, you know, of, like... You know, there's a battle going on. He sees one guy, and he's doing a spell that targets a guy, and he's supposed to, like, throw his weapon out of his hand because, like, yeah. the spell of the wind took it or something, or, like, some <laughs> magic-using character did something, like, rooted his feet to the ground, and he's supposed to stand there until he either dies or someone helps him or yeah, counters so, the man, spell. I rather, I rather, you know, you got, like, a little ball or some shit. Yeah. Like I was saying, like, physical yeah, representation. Yeah. Like if you want to, right, yeah, different. like challenge yeah. me, throw fireballs at me. Oh yeah. shit! Okay, this is kind of fun. That's you know, that's kind of cool. The battle and somebody yelling some shit at right. Me. Someone just saying some spell, and I'm supposed to, you know, drop all my armor yeah. or something. Like, who the fuck like, you talking to, bitch? You know? Yeah, you ain't talking I, to me. I'll keep fighting. Right. I'll that's how I personally feel. I'd have a hard time with that on the field. Shut the fuck up and just keep fighting. Yeah. I think the the enchant. I got a silent spell for you. That's it. You got one for free. <laughs> <laughs> what Grimace was talking about before the show, when the healing thing, right? Weren't you talking about that? Like what you got to chant out? Oh, the healing poem. Oh, a healing poem. Yeah, we Those have healing are... poems in Dagger here. That's, That's the only much. magic and it's kind of a joke rule. Yeah. It my was, old unit... back from way in the day of Dagger here. My old unit tried to make it an actual thing. It went absolutely nowhere. Although I have been healed on the field. I have as well. And I'll never forget it because it was one of the coolest like yep. role play aspects I've experienced on the field. Okay. Because because like you the like they were saying mm-hmm. everyone's heard of it, you know they know it's a thing. It's in the rule book. It's in Ooh, the yeah. MOA. Any, huh? Anyone? Oh, if okay. The poems themselves are pre-approved by the heralds. They could just be Gary Busey a million times. <laughs> they can be literally the rule, 180, I think it is. Hundred and eighty. Hundred and eighty syllables. It has to be. Yeah. Yeah, you can count. They don't care about. They don't care about anything else if it's 180. But the guy that healed me, he actually had a poem. It was Farron from Evan mm. Light healed me on the field. Oh, wow. I was legged, and, you know, we were formed up. I think it was at uh, Autumn Soul 2. It would have to have been. And, um... Or you were saying you'd never forget it. And you yeah. forgot it. <laughs> no, I'm trying to remember uh, what scenario. I think we were doing the Islands game with the boats oh, or something. Oh, God, be with you. That's that got to be real, like, just uh, a scenario that would come up where, like, you're not 
vulnerable and someone else can heal you. Like, yeah, it was a random you know, thing. We were holding some kind of... We were on one of the islands fighting. Yeah. Because if you weren't on the island, you had to fight on your knees because it was water. You were wading in water. So we were on one of the islands, but I was legged. And so we fought some people off. And, you know, sometimes people aren't sure if you're legged or just, you know, fell or had a low stance or something, you know. So he looks over and he's like, oh, are you legged? And I was like, yeah. And he just comes over and he puts his hand on my shoulder and recites his healing poem. And I was healed. And it was just really awesome. That is cool. Because I was like, wow, I got healed. Like, you hear about it, you read about it, you know it's a thing. But you never see anyone doing it. Because it's just kind of... It's 180 syllables. And it's almost irrelevant you're nowadays. Really like you've said, yeah, you're vulnerable. Who can sit there and do a yeah. heel fit? But their line was pushed back, and we were just sitting. More guys had to come through the water. So as they're wading over, he healed me, and like That's we were like cool. ready to go again. So that makes a lot cool. of sense, too. I like it. I think it's cool. I just watched his trial on YouTube. From yeah. Crossbank. Farron's? Yeah. It was brutal. So That's mm-hmm. like, we really got to get more stuff like that. I really wish I could have recorded. Mm-hmm. Like, I knew he was fighting for a while. Like, we stood and watched for a while. I didn't know it was a full hour. Yeah. It was intense. I wish I could have recorded Lance's. Because that'd be cool, something cool to have. Yeah, yeah that would have been cool. Once we get some more camera equipment, I can send these two when I can't go. <laughs> Apparently they broke a bat on me when I barreled. Damn. Oh, for your trial? Yeah. Yeah, we did. <laughs> yeah, <we did. laughs> Do it again too. That shit was on purpose. <laughs> well, I don't remember it. <laughs> well, Zeno had the bat, so yeah, it was on purpose. Damn, I don't remember it. It would be Zeno. <laughs> yeah. No, a legit bat? No, a uh, speed bat. Oh. Okay. There's a one of these things. One of those, but it's round. Shape. It's the one they call Omni bats. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, the round ones. Yeah. The Omni weapon, there was a guy, when we first started, he had, like, a crazy-looking, like, bumped Omni weapon, like... I know what you're talking about. Those are the ones by, I think they're Forged Foam, the Kanabos yeah. or Tetsubos. Tetsubos, yeah. Yeah, that I think they're right. by either Forged Foam or Prometheus. I can't remember which. A lot of people have started picking those up. They're cool-looking. Is there any purpose to them? Exactly. It's just a, no, it's it's a big red. Had it. Yeah, it's just yeah, a big yeah, red, does yeah, red it's, damage. It's a okay. normal red. I have something similar in my car. It's not... It's not got all the bumps, but it does the same thing. Okay. It's there for the novelty, and it looks cool as hell. It does look cool. Also, one day want to have a, a breakdown of, because I still have the old weapons, just a breakdown that shows, like, how the evolution of, like, the old uh, pull noodle weapons. And then, like, the next now. stage. And oh, then, like, yeah. And then, like, when you guys started... Uh, Doing the glue stuff. Uh, what is that shit? Dap. Dap. Yeah. <laughs> we all know. It's dap. And now I've got that. a router. S- yeah. Yep, Jeez. routed foam. Yeah, it's always... Router and Back in the day, you used to take a piece of bamboo or PVC pipe, jam it through a pool noodle, shape it down to kind of like a cone, and then like put it on with some masking, with some box tape. And now we've got fiberglass rods with like squares of floor mat foam come in strips to make like a box shape around it. And then you have strips of camping foam dapped onto the side of that, maybe three or four layers of that, making your sort of your sword shape, making basically the big foam fudgesicle. And then you've got a third type of foam, yoga foam, which we call the uh, evolite foam, making up the uh, stab tips. So ideally, you'll have two or three different types of foam on a sword at, you know, at one time. It's like firm foam in the middle and the soft foam. Yeah, it's yeah. more dense, like so the core... Like hard floor kind of foam, making the very box around the core, so that, you know, you have the strongest foam around the part that might actually rip free from the weapon. It has, and, as we've seen at yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Event. A properly made weapon, if you've done everything right, then the way it will eventually break is that the core will eventually come out of the head. No matter how well you make it, as it takes beating and stress over time, the core beats off on the inside of the foam weapon eventually emerges out, which is why you see all this tape up here at the top. This is to prolong the life of the weapon as much as possible and put as much rigidity as they can to reinforce this area and prevent the tip from blowing out. It should never break. Once we figured out fiberglass cores, you just don't see breakage as happening. Fiberglass is us amazingly strong uh, material to build out of. 
Well, do you guys have anything else you wanted to talk about? Any blood pack information or? We should no? start using teeth as currency. Yes. Jeez. We will just be New York. Yeah, like, make yeah but quick. like, I want to go find actual teeth somewhere. I just got like, a tooth time. pulled Monday. <laughs> should have brought it. I guess so. Well, I've got like so much like animal teeth. Yeah, the animal teeth. <laughs> and we'll you got to be able to find that online, teeth. cheap. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. You got to be able to find that online, cheap too. Yeah, yeah, find it in my yard. Can I get you a toe by three o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> My man. You'd be surprised how expensive it is, though. Yeah. yeah. It's not. Well, cheap. I mean, yeah, you don't just, like, casually grow. To, like, you, you, you have to get that teeth from something. So it didn't want to give up its teeth, whatever you got it from. Like. Exactly. Yeah, I was looking up. That's why it has value. Uh, I remember hearing from Sean years. way back in the day in that Samurai Viking War that Kyle Massaros had offered. Leather teeth. I was told gator teeth. Well, I mean. I also know someone with the three. You want to go to Yellowstone and find Mr. Massaros, then I'll get some of these gator teeth. I have the perfect stuff to make teeth out of. Mm -hmm. Actually, I made my own tusks out of them. Oh, yeah, that's right. But but then it's not authentic. But they can look good. I mean, I only do everything, so. I only do everything. That's right. You want so to make some teeth. I don't want no counterfeit teeth. <laughs> no, you don't do leather work. I want fresh it. minted teeth. Fresh minted teeth? Minty, you want to like, brush your teeth like a crest you mean? Like? <laughs> yeah, sometimes they're off putting, so I'd like them, you know, cleaned. <laughs> Just a little bit of blood on them. That's it. No, I think that'd be cool for the, uh, you know, maybe for like at least the monstrous characters to do. Kind of like how we're trying to get, like, shinies going for, like, in-game bartering and stuff. You know, cool-looking rocks or I'd pieces. i some teeth for sure. Right? Wouldn't you be like, yeah. Yeah, yeah like, already. Like, I'm not even currency. Like, I will give you some of my stuff if you give me some teeth. Right. <laughs> teeth. Like, I'm okay with that. Mm-hmm. Just hang around with Death Charles. From what I'm told, played. Merchants of Ragnarok okay with it, too. Yeah. All right. Well, guys, thanks for joining us. We finally got Lance on the show. Finally did a blood pack episode. Other than just Brian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not the most accurate representation. No. <laughs> All, right. All right. Well, thank you for listening, guys. This has been the Future Heels podcast with Blood Pack. Uh, my name is Jacob Best in the Realm Hotter. Brooks, wake up. Jeremy, Coach Brooks. Brian, Brian, man, Peacock, and you called us the Heels again. Did I seriously? Yeah. Fuck, well, I came here to do the Future Heels podcast. <laughs> That's why you're focused. That's right, Future Villains podcast. I'm sorry. He only does everything Brian, Brian, and Peacock. Right. What? Do your name. Say your name. Which one? Rhaegar. Rhaegar. Rhaegar, Lance, whatever you want to go by. Alred. Grimace. Corrigar. Thank you for listening, guys. You can find this podcast, as always, on YouTube, on iTunes. We're on Google now, guys. Google. Hell yeah, we're on Google. Google. Uh, you can also find me on Twitter at Best of the Realm, Facebook, Best of the Realm Gaming, Instagram, Best of the Realm, Best of the Realm.com. I forgot to remember, remember to fucking say it this time. Where can they find you, Brian? Good job. Uh, on Twitter at BrianMan25, uh, Instagram, BrianMan1138. Twitter, JeremyBrooks42, Instagram, holy shit. J Brooks forty two, Facebook, guys, Twitters, social media. Don't, don't. You guys like don't do Facebook. Usually find me at work or at home. Usually find me having a field. shit day. <laughs> I know you. You barely got face gram. Face. Face gram. <laughs> You're just <laughs> making up <laughs> shit <laughs> now. <laughs> face gram Twitter account. G G G Gram. Work. Oh man, it is late. Damn, man. And you, oh, it you is can one find. In the morning. You can find all. Face script, my book. Yeah. Gram. <laughs> <laughs> You can find all of this content on futurevillains.com, including exclusive blood pack galleries, blood pack drawings, we're going to call them. Sure. Awesome stuff Brian made, and old podcasts. I only do everything. That's right. Except with us LARP. talking about LARP, and uh, you can find That's the nice. Future Heels podcast, which is a wrestling podcast. And I'll be based out. <laughs> and soon, I will be doing a sports podcast. Hell yeah. So, uh, I'm glad you're bringing that up. That. You can find all that on futurevillains.com. That's F E W T R U E V I L L A I N S.com. Thank you for listening, guys. Say that five times fast.